Good morning, free gang. We're coming to you live, but not live, from this beautiful treehouse that we've been staying in for the last few days out here in Devon or Somerset in England. I think we're on the border somewhere, but yeah, it's so remote, it's so lovely. We've really enjoyed staying here. This is our last day though. We're gonna have to start heading out today, but I think we've had enough time here. We've pretty much nested in here the whole time. We've, only, we've gone out around the grounds here. I went out for a run around the area in the hills, but in general, we've been nice and comfortably nested here. And you know, how could you not be? Look at these surroundings, man. All around us, it's just forest and trees and grass and it's so cozy here as well when you've got these surroundings inside it makes it nice and easy to stay inside and it's been a bit rainy a lot of the time and it's been cold outside so we've had the wood burning stove on a lot of the time Jojo's really enjoyed having it on and just seeing the flames going all the time so he bought some DVDs and we've watched all of those and we've had pots of tea a lot of the time and had our little breakfasts here we still got a fair amount of food to get through here that we're going to be taking a lot of it back with us and having snacks on the journey as many of you rem remember the other day Jojo did the food haul and ended up getting way more than we expected meals wise we've done good we managed to get rid of all the meals it's all the other things a lot of the fruits left over other snacks and other bits as well but and Jojo is just up in his bedroom chilling what are you doing there mate playing minion rush playing minion rush you've got some books over there you've been reading as well the lost voice how would you read if your voice is lost Oh no, your, your voice is lost. Um, Finite. Thank you. Sorry about that. I hate what happened. Do you know what? This is probably my favourite room. It's just so cosy. I love how the way it's all laid out. This is my own like li little living room. It's your own living room. This is where you can come and chill out and you lie on here. Yeah, Plus, this is my like chill out room. Yeah. It's like your, my secret lair. Your secret lair. It does have a secret lair feel to it, doesn't it? As you see down there, Henry's my friend. Oh yeah, Henry the Hoover. You got to meet him for the first time yesterday, didn't you? How is Henry doing? Is he alright? He looks happy. He, he is happy. He's got a very, very long nose, hasn't he? I know. <laughs> If you guys want to see like the room like this and the rest of this place in more detail We actually did do a tour which I'll put up in the corner there Which will show you exactly what this treehouse is like all of the details It's probably the best tour we've ever done and the most enjoyable one of the nicest places We've ever stayed one of the most unique definitely and sometimes we forget that we are like 30 feet up You know you're walking around on the floor in the living room and you think okay We're just in a normal apartment on, on a normal level But I've been really really tempted to get out of the windows and climb in and around the tree but because they made us aware there are owls staying here I thought it could be disturbing them so I've had to resist that temptation I don't want to upset any owls in here but it is still so tempting I just wake up every morning and want to go straight out the window onto a branch and onto the roofs and everything if any of you haven't seen the recent videos of why we've actually come and stayed here you can check that up in the corner as well because this isn't our home we'd be interested if it was our home however I don't know it would be the norm then it wouldn't maybe feel as magical and as, as special <laughs> just get my head round there's a tree going all around the front door just how cool is that man this is probably the extent of climbing that I've done here automatically now I just want to go across there but there's like a little bird house there I don't know where the owls are how Wait are you doing? hello <laughs> all I can hear is you talking 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 oh my god it's like you're some upstairs person like saying shut up go away no, ruining my life or what? <laughs> well, I'm having a party down here. If you don't like it, you should move somewhere else. Is he boring you guys? No, they're, talking, they're, they're shaking their heads. They're saying no. Are you enjoying me just nattering on? Oh, cool. Okay, I'll carry on then. This area here, I guess it's like a breakfast bar. This is probably one of, if not my favourite area of the whole treehouse. I'm going to say that about a lot of places, I'm sure, but... I like sitting here, doing my work, looking out the window, cup of tea, maybe some toast, a little snack, something like that. I've done most of my work sat here, to be honest. Hey, get out of my breakfast bit! You can't claim every single bit. No, this is my, this is my breakfast bit. Get out of it. This is my breakfast area. Up there's my room. So I need you to get out. <laughs> This erratic behaviour will not be tolerated, young man. See what that mummy is doing. Oh, you, you're you taking a break from uh, disturbing people downstairs, i.e. me. What are you doing? Apart from talking, all I've heard is you talking all morning. I've been on editing as well, I'm doing work. Talking, talking, talking. How dare you? You've been having a little play with Jojo's treehouse, destroying it, I see. There's an absolute massacre's taking place here. A poor, decapitated woman. Have you found the body? Yes. Oh, can I show them the view from up here? The view of me talking down there. Yes, I don't know if you can completely tell how high up we are. It's a good 30 foot down. I mean, we'll add this floor as well. When, the first night we got here, I actually felt dizzy. I felt like the tree was swaying from side to side. Me and Jojo were just kind of saying, 
what is our favorite area i mean he's taking claim on the breakfast bar area but i think breakfast bar area is where i've enjoyed the most what about you i like this bed just waking up there by that window and yeah there's, like there's a tree right there's a branch of the tree right next to the window there's a tree branch out of every window i swear see this is what i've woken up to guys and i've wanted this to drop out straight onto there and then just adventure and then make my way down to the ground possibly on my face or onto there and then onto the roof but i feel that the animals and the nature had this tree first they're letting us share it you can probably get an idea now of how far up we are so are you saying that bed area is your favorite area the bath as well i love the bath it's huge even though i've only had one bath in there we've mostly had showers but it's like you're sitting in the bath and you're like i'm in a bath in a tree the inner tree thing has been a frequent revelation, hasn't it? Yeah, you wake up and go, oh my god, I'm in a tree. Yeah, you, you, you have a shower and you go, I'm having a shower in a tree. You read Harry Potter and then you go, I'm reading Harry Potter in a tree. Okay, okay, we get the drift, calm no, it down. No, no. You're I'm doing having, your makeup I'm in a, a tree. drink in a tree. Hair dryer in a tree. I'm looking in a mirror in a tree. Building Lego in a tree. Building a tree out of plastic in, in a, a tree. tree. Yeah. What would you say is your favourite part of the treehouse, Jojo? My bit. Oh, his bedroom. Yeah. Oh, oh, also, I know, Jojo, what you really like, the fire. Yeah, we've been building fires, haven't we? He's been insistent on it every single day. There's still one there. I don't know if we should, because we're going in about an hour. Yeah, it'd be wasteful. An hour? His room is just... Oh my god. It's magical, isn't it? It's just like bespoke the way they've done, done the bunks. And they've got like, it looks like driftwood or something mm. along the edges. Oh man, it's just so beautiful. Thank you for bringing me here for Mother's Day. No worries. Even though it's like about a week late. Yeah, well, we had a very, very productive trip to Denmark, didn't we? All of the feedback we've been getting from there. Oh yeah, do you know what's awesome? Is the amount of, you spoke in that school in Denmark and the amount of kids that are commenting on the channel now. I know, and they're so engaged yeah. with with everything we talked oh, about. it's lovely, and saying yeah. that you've inspired them and that, so yeah, yeah, it was worth it. It was worth not being in the UK for Mother's Day, definitely. Well, look what you got at the end of it. Are you both ready to go back home? Yeah, I'm happy to go back. I'd be even more happy if you go and make some breakfast right now. <laughs> What do you like? Fruity bits? Whatever they're Should I chop up the watermelon? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I was going to say that. People oh. having breakfast in a tree. We just both stopped down the stairs and looked at, out a separate window like, ah. Uh... <laughs> you were, up at, were you doing the same? Were you looking out that window up the top? Yeah. Yeah, I just stopped at okay, the one I on the stairs. I always looking out the windows. It's hard to just get from A to B in this place because you just stop and be like, oh, look where we are. This is wicked. I don't feel sad leaving though. I mean, I could definitely do a couple more days here, but I don't feel sad that we're leaving. No, 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 it's, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Got, you know, anyway. Breakfast. Is that yummy? Mmm, it's warm and banging. I'm eating cereal in a tree house. Do you realise what's happening? What? I'm eating watermelon and editing in a tree house. I was just thinking it might just be a cupboard full of food, but look what's in that thing inside there. <gasps> a dishwasher. Uh, we're using a dishwasher in a tree house. This is freaky. We're using a sink in a tree house. Houston, we have a problem. What? We have a problem up a tree house. There's a bee stuck in the bathroom. A bee? How did that get there? <laughs> Okay. Wait, this isn't this is a genuine bee, this no, is not no, Jojo buzzing around. <laughs> no, it's genuine. Alright, enter the bee whisperer. Yeah, look. It's quite a big one as well. Mm. <laughs> Come for a close-up, did they? We're gonna look after the bees on this planet, guys. Go you're on. so close, you're so close, come on. Pop him on the towel again. Oh. Oh. Is it gone? Yeah. Well the done. bee whisperer does it again. Again? When was the first time you did it? I've done it every day that we've been together, haven't I? Haven't I? Did I just save a bee in a treehouse? I think you did. Wow. I'm in the flipping bathroom <laughs> in a treehouse. Ah! I had a shower in a treehouse. I think I did that one. But you have to go back. I did bath or shower, one or the other. Or maybe I did both. I got annoyed in a treehouse by my wife. What's that sound? It's Jojo on his trunky. Hi. You've liked having your trunky, haven't you? Yeah. Not only is trunky fun to ride on, it's really handy because what can you fit inside? My stuff. Yeah, what have you got in there? I've got some cars, some books. 
Trumps. Top Trumps and some, some colouring pens. Mm. We are pretty much all packed up right now. Just getting the last few things together. Are we all ready, Mummy? I'm feeling emotional. Nope. Really emotional. We haven't got time for emotions right now, I'm afraid. I know how you feel though. I do. It's hard that it's like you have to realise what you've enjoyed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's Thank just you, Trias. so beautiful. It's just, oh man. I know. I've never stayed anywhere so beautiful before. I know. Love. I'm gonna stay here for 99 more days. 99 more days? Um, can we do that, Mummy? I don't know. Maybe if we're millionaires. All right, let's get our things together and get out then. It's one of these things that you've enjoyed the first time and you've settled in, and then you start going, okay, next time I'm here. Anyway, let's go. You wanna hug the tree? Well, I'm not big enough. <laughs> Thank you, tree. Wow, that is one. That is amazing just tree. wow. That's just amazing. This is what I mean is that you can be there the whole time, and you get to like this spot, and then you look back, and you're just like, what? what? Bye, treehouse. <laughs> So we are on the road. Katie is designated driver again as I edit work. Stonehenge, Stonehenge. Where? Oh yeah. Sheep are chilling out, yeah. Relax. What is it, man? What is it? That's the sky. What is it, man? What are they? Who did this? Should we talk about Jamie then? Yes, many of you have been asking where is Jamie because we've been on a few trips and she's nowhere to be seen. I think a lot of you are concerned that she's gone missing or something. <laughs> yeah, there literally is questions like, Where's Jamie gone? I guess because she's been in a few videos quite recently, people might expect to see her more frequently, but she hasn't disappeared off the face of the earth, I can assure you that. But she has had another disaster. A lot of you have been following her story with her bike. She has a motorbike, well, it's a moped. Moped gate, let's call it. She got this moped behind our back. For those of you, I don't know if it's called a moped in other parts of the world. Scooter, world. maybe. A scooter, or it's like a little motorbike, basically. It makes a really Really interesting sound every time she rides it. Like that. So then she ends up getting hit by a car on it. So the one that she has at the moment is a higher one. Yeah, it's a courtesy one as a replacement while her one gets fixed. Right, so where Jamie is, is Jamie's staying with a friend at the moment. So she wanted to go and stay with her friend while we went away. So she goes and stays with her friend, leaves the bike outside her friend's house, and the bike gets stolen or a load of people try to steal it. But there's a twist to this story is that the place where she left it outside her friend's house is right opposite a police station. So the police caught the people trying to steal her bike, caught them red-handed. So now the police have her bike. So right now, Jamie is stranded in Bristol trying to get her bike back from the police. So basically that last time you saw Jamie, when she'd come in briefly and went out again to go and see her friend in Bristol, all that time we've been to Denmark and then been at the tree house, she's been there in Bristol. Partly because she wanted to stay there with her friend, but now because she's become stranded. <laughs> yeah, so even though she's kind of stranded, at least the bike was found straight away. I just can't believe anyone in their right mind decided to try and take a bike outside of a police station. They might as well have walked into the police station and asked an officer to come out and help them load this into a back of a van. They might as well have walked into a police station and said, arrest me. Yeah, I'm about to steal this bike. Do you want to stop me? So right now, the only way that she can get her bike back is she needs the insurance company who issued her this bike as a replacement to basically go to the police station or sort it out or contact the police. And she's got a new job that she's starting on Monday, so she basically has to get back in time for that. She will be back eventually. When the bike will be back, I don't know. But we've been trying to say, okay, accident, this happening to this bike, maybe it's a sign you shouldn't be on the bike. I don't know. But I've spoken to her every day and she seems happy, but I think she's starting to realize that having a bike isn't the best thing for her. Yeah, maybe more trouble than it's worth. But she's all safe, she's happy, so she hasn't disappeared from the face of the earth. She's well, she's happy, she's we, without a bike. We speak to her every day, but yeah. she's so independent. She does what she wants. I wish she was with us every day. I miss her so much. Yeah. I really do, I really miss her. She brings a different dynamic to the family, but you know what, she does what she wants. She's older now, so it's difficult. And she's only going out having fun, meeting friends and that as well. And this is obviously just bad luck for this to happen. But you know what they say about luck, you create your own. So maybe this is just something she needs to separate from. But we'll see, we'll see her in a few days. And hopefully after she starts a new job, everything will be resolved and sorted. But I said to her, why don't you maybe learn how to drive? And she said, yeah, I 
think that's a good idea, yeah. Mum. She's a lot safer as well, isn't it? Your own car. Yeah, because I worry about her the second she goes out the door on that thing. I wouldn't worry with her in a car. Guess what, Fleet Services Welcome Break? We're coming for you. Welcome Break is my favourite. We're grading service stations now. Yeah, it's my favourite because you always get a Waitrose there. You always get a Subway. The toilets are nice there. Stop talking about it until I left into it. So good I missed it. Oh, that person's gone in the hard shoulder. That person's <laughs> naughty. You. You, right there. Yeah. Naughty. So the main reason we've stopped is not because of having a drink or even just a rest from driving. It's, it's because, well, for you it is, yeah. It's because we just really wanted to get this video uploaded just to get it out today. Just to really give you guys as much content as possible. It's one of the fun things of when you're a traveling YouTube family, isn't it? Yeah. That you just have to make things work. You never know where you're going to be uploading. Really exactly, yeah. Yeah, you just make do with what you can, but it's fun, it's part of the adventure. How are you getting on, Daddy? We're almost there. Today's upload will be slightly after 5 pm. Jojo, do you want to go to the shop? Yeah, should we go to the shop? Come on then. See you in a minute. Mm. Mrs. Flappy. You got a Mr. Flappy, haven't you? Is that his wife? Oh, Jojo, look. Look. Oh. Oh, top trumps. Oh, yeah. Minions, top trumps. Minions. Do you want to buy that with your money? You've been saving all your money in that little bag, haven't you? I'm going to get a flipping Minions top trumps. Do you want these? Yes. They're 5 99 so if you give them £6, how much change are you going to get? One penny. One penny, that's right. You're going to do it yourself. Oh, that's Waitrose. I think you need to come and... It's this shop. You need to go to the till in here. Yes. Oh. Thank you. He needs his change. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. Jojo, he was trying not to give you your change, wasn't he? He was being cheeky. Or do you think he did it by accident? I don't know. I think he did it by accident. Yeah. yeah. Go show Daddy what you got. Daddy, I've got some. Is it Lego? Minions top trumps. Shut up, man. No. You bought it with your own money? Yeah. Yeah, he got it with his own money, didn't you? Well, the guy didn't give him his change back. What? Yeah. Don't need to go in there and beat Because Jojo was, we figured out that he needed to get 1p change. So he was standing there waiting for it. <laughs> and the guy didn't give it to him. Hey buddy, hey buddy, think you're forgetting something. Rob, we gotta go. Time to finish this game in the car, please. We're back in London. How do we know we're back in London? Because there was some furious beeping between drivers. That's no. not what you did. <laughs> that's what he did. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. We're not used to it. Like in Denmark, I didn't hear one person beep their horn. Like there was no sirens or anything going off. It was just like so peaceful. And then being in a tree house. Don't even hear a car. Welcome home. So we are back home for more than one day now. <laughs> back to a cold home. Back to a cold home. That's yeah. why I got my scarf on because I've just walked in here and it's freezing. Jojo has not messed about though. He's got full into his Lego. He's playing with his toys. And just before we round up this video, I'm going to give some shout outs to some of you lovely people who have requested them. There's been quite a lot as well. We've got quite a backlog here. So shout outs to Connie Freeman, Emily Hope McGoldrick, Lady of Madness, Lana Moody, Jane Elizabeth Gagney, Ruby Gibson, Living With 22Q, aka <laughs> Hannah, Chloe Glover, Beauty Kabuki, It's Emily Rose, Ikra Raja, Amelia Whittle, and last shout out from Jojo. It is Billy. Billy, that is requested from your mum, Becky Timmins. Hey, Billy. Thanks so much, guys, for requesting your shout out. We really, really appreciate it. If you have requested a shout out and you're wondering where it is, it might be in the next video. Uh, if not, just comment below. We'll get them done as soon as possible and we'll be caught up very soon so we can always respond exactly where you want it. And I just want to say a big thanks as well to you guys who have been responding with your songs that make you feel happy as we're building this free gang music playlist. It's coming together very slowly and it's very nice to see all of your happy songs are coming in there. Coming together fast. Is it fast, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. I guess it is, yeah. There's yeah. loads of them. There's, there's quite yeah. a few of them. If you've got any other happy songs that you want to add so other people in the free gang can share and enjoy the happy music and good feel vibes, put them in the comments below and we will add them to the playlist. And if you're new to this channel and you like following our videos and our adventures, we'd love it if you subscribed and joined the free gang. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you are kept up to date on when we upload. You do not want to miss out. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Go!